Hello and welcome to Northwell Health Cancer Institute. We understand there's nothing simple or easy about cancer. Everyone's journey is personal. At Northwell Health, we offer cutting-edge, personalized treatment for cancer. The focus of this video is checkpoint inhibitors, commonly called immunotherapy. Everyone has an immune system. Its role is to protect you against any foreign intruders, such as infection and cancer. We know that immune cells fight cancer, but sometimes cancer can trick our immune cells. Recently, research has shown us how to reactivate our immune system to fight cancer. In order to understand this pathway, we thought this cartoon would help. The immune cells have the ability to recognize the cancer cells. However, the cancer cells are smart and can trick our immune system. They directly attach to the immune cells and freeze them. They don't let them do what they're supposed to do. Sometimes they can even put a blindfold on the immune cells. Checkpoint inhibitors directly work by removing the attachment cancer cells have on our immune cells and freeing the immune cells. Some work on the immune cell level and some work on the cancer cell level. But both methods unblock this attachment and let the immune cells free so they can do their job and kill the cancer cells. The new class of drugs called checkpoint inhibitors directly work towards removing this attachment and freeing the immune cells to do their job. There are many immunotherapy drugs approved for various cancers. Your doctor will discuss individual drugs that are appropriate for you. Immunotherapy is given intravenously at our infusion center. Even though these drugs are generally very safe, there are possible side effects, which are a result of your immune cells attacking your healthy cells. We want to discuss some of the common side effects here, but please know you may experience a side effect that has not been discussed here. It's important for you to report any new or worsening symptoms immediately to your doctor because some of the side effects can be very serious and need to be treated urgently. Immunotherapy can cause inflammation of any organ in your body, which can cause different side effects to occur. The most common and serious side effects will be discussed here. Swelling of the thyroid gland can cause hormone changes, which may make you feel extremely weak and have joint pain. The skin can also become inflamed and cause itching and rashes to appear. Inflammation of the colon, which is called colitis, can cause abdominal pain and diarrhea. Furthermore, pneumonitis or inflammation of the lungs can lead to shortness of breath or a cough. Lastly, the liver may also become inflamed, which can cause dark urine and yellowing of your skin and eyes. Always ask your doctor for help managing any symptoms you're having. Again, serious side effects with immunotherapy are rare but can occur. Your thyroid, skin, lung, colon, and liver are the most common organs affected by immunotherapy, but other organs can become affected as well. Most of these side effects are reversible and need to be brought to your doctor's attention immediately. Your doctor may decide to pause the immunotherapy until your body recovers, but they will discuss this with you if it's needed. We want you to know that your healthcare team will be monitoring you closely and that we are always here to help if you have any questions or concerns. To offset certain side effects, your doctor may prescribe steroids, such as prednisone, prednisolone, methylprednisone, and dexamethasone. It's important that you take those as directed and not discontinue them suddenly. Sometimes, stronger medications may be needed to help your overactive immune system. Remember that we provide personalized treatments and not all patients experience the same side effects to immunotherapy. If you ever experience a side effect not mentioned, develop new or worsening symptoms, immediately call your Northwell Health doctor. Next is a quick survey. We would appreciate it if you could take the time to answer these questions to assess the usefulness of this education video. We thank you in advance.